What is happening with my data when I'm using AI-enabled applications? This is a question I often receive during the Applied AI trainings. And the answer to this question is, is the following. If you are using uh, any type of application which is saying that it's using uh, OpenAI ChatGPT model, and uh, let's say any other models from provided by OpenAI, then 99% probability this data which you are which you are pasting or let's say uploading uh, to this application can be anything from uh, text data in the form of prompts. If you upload PDF documents or if you upload images, if you upload video, anything like that, it will not stay on the servers of the company which owns web application or application. Uh, it goes to OpenAI. Since OpenAI invested uh, a lot of uh, a lot of money into developing of all these models and all these capacities. It's not giving it for free to anyone because it's just if you have a model it's quite easy to then uh, use it for your own benefit and to, to become basically the owner of this model. So OpenAI is not letting anyone uh, to have uh, to have this model and this possibility. That's why these companies, which are providing nice, u nice user interface or nice use cases for your AI needs, they have a, they are using API of OpenAI, which means that the data you are pasting there or you are uploading is not staying at their servers, it's traveling to the servers of OpenAI. And here it all depends where the servers are located. Most probably it's in the United States. So you can assume that the data which you paste into these applications, which are not built by OpenAI, but they use uh, ChatGPT models in the background, they send all the data to, let's say, California or somewhere in the, in the United States, and this data, data stays there. Another question is what's happening with this data there, and this will be the topic of my next video.